Damn. Did Abella Anderson come out with a workout program? A sleeveless hoodie with a t-shirt. She doesn't know whether she's hot or cold. All she knows is she wants a thigh gap. When I think of middle-aged women dancing in the gym and making no gains, I think of Zumba, not Hula. Somebody needs to tell this lady that swinging back and forth while using a pad is not what trainers mean by having a pendulum period. 855 by 6, except the 6 refers to the range of motion in inches. The setup and the velcro lifting belt from Target were dead giveaways. No fucking clue why he's not wearing shoes. Why improve your balance when you're just going to dump the weight on the safeties like a fucktard every rep? People told you this, but all you did was label them as haters. You have 96 followers. Those aren't haters. Those are tumbleweeds. I'm not sure how reaming your spine and knee tendons will help you break through your target, which, from the looks of you, will be another 120-pound female fighter. I hope she's doing stupid shit like this too, otherwise it'll be a fucking slaughter. The unstoppable force, and the ego-lifting pudding head who got his ass kicked by a girl. And here she is now. Behold, the man bun dial. That makeshift clock formed by a stick getting sunned. Sick recovery. Except when you use a balance board, which you should never fucking do, you're supposed to keep the platform from touching the floor. He might look like he's crossfitting, but he's actually training for Ninja Warrior, which is also a circus, but the clowns have the decency to not call themselves athletes. Pidgeotto looking ass motherfucker. Congrats, you still look like you've never touched a weight in your life. You can't even do a push-up. Your revolution accomplished absolutely nothing. Bruh. When they say to use awkward loads to make lifting more manly, this is not what they mean. If you want to get big and strong, you pick up five guys, not two guys. Hurry up, fuck mook. Good job, you need a pussy pad to quarter squat 200 pound bags of glitter. Bradley Martin does this type of shit with hot chicks in good form. I bet you have tattooed teardrops. Not under your eyes to mourn the loss of fellow gang members, but on your knees, because your VMOs are so weak and shriveled you wouldn't have visible teardrops there otherwise. Date's over. Time to walk them home. Sorry I'm late. I was leaving matrimony behind. Good fucking morning, goddammit. Rich Piana here with another episode of Smaller Alimony Payments by the Month. Smaller by the day. I mean smaller by the day. My CrossFit show, motherfucker. Ring handstand push-ups look like utter trash at the professional level, so I can only imagine how fucktarded they look at the amateur level. Gotta entrust a smaller body to protect you while you confuse the body. Right, babe? Right, babe? There's no one here. She wasn't the right babe! We'll see how this bizarre fitness relationship ends, and it crashes in a few seconds. Rich, you PR'd, bro. You wanna know something about marriage? Marriage is like CrossFit, goddammit! You know damn well marriage ends in divorce less often than CrossFitting ends in snapped up shit. Fair enough! But afterwards, you're broken up inside and have jack shit to show for it! Yeah, but at least you're not keeping a toxic relationship going, just like... Inner city. My dad's cousin was an astronaut. Not true. And dicking down a bitch named Moon Cookie doesn't count as lunar crater exploration. Fair enough. I wonder what prayer he's saying. Our father, who art disappointed in me, harrowed be my spine. Just to spare you from having to watch the entire Pump Chasers collab video, Samson here performed the worst in this deadlift contest. He should just do CrossFit, so he can finally be the strongest brother in the room. By being the only brother in the room. Compton, we have a problem. The bar's barely going past his knees. Talk about a failure to launch, from a failure since birth. Nobody's saying anything either because it's his daddy's gym, and if you're mean to him, then he won't let you play with his toys anymore. This feeble moron has procreated. Let that roll around in your fucking skulls for a second. Now Samson's looking over at Chris Jones. Not because he's taking a protein shake without paying again, but because he thought he could beat him. Moving right along, we can see that this gentleman and scholar has removed his belt. So much fucking bouncing. You're lucky someone's got your back, otherwise it'd be splattered all over that wall. Samson Fletcher is such a fucking space cadet. When people tell you that you're lifting off and you don't respond, then failure is your only option. Zero! Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now.